the inner sense. For even though the active senses loud talk, not good voice. For even though for even though the active senses and the logic lo, uh, knowledge acquiring senses may be engaged in worship. If the mind is not at it, it will all be mechanical and the attainment of prema will remain far away. Because if it is mechanical, no taste will come. Yeah. <laughs> So taste will only come if we are doing this full with our full heart. Therefore, the diligent practitioner should be careful that the mind is fixed on the worship that is being performed with the active senses and the knowledge acquiring senses. When the mind remembers Sri Govinda, the Lord will give himself to the person who thus meditates on him. The universal teacher Sri Krishna oh, gives. You have a conference now. Today, not. Okay. Uh -huh. The universal teacher, Sri Krishna, gives himself away to he who meditates on his lotus feet by personally appearing. Electricity gone. Yeah, mm. no electricity. We need to go out, so electricity If this is charged, you have to turn. Why you're talking? You do it. Yeah, it's already battery. It's good oh. and no battery now. Why not charge it? I don't know, Guru, then maybe there's electricity. I will ask Master and the car directly if he can switch. There is a switch, he said. We need to talk. Yeah. Yeah. There is a switch. Then electricity coming and it will be recharged. So it is the nature of the mind to always divert. In what I am thinking, I am there. So all the time we have to catch the mind and bring it back in the right, right place. Right. That is the sadhana. That means that this sadhana is also a hard work. We have to work and endeavor. Every moment. That is the service done for sadhana. <laughs> Twenty-four seven. This what has to do. Even in it's a sleeping time, where going by, you will dream like that. So what we are doing during our awake state, that impression will stay in the mind also during the sleeping time. Yeah. Right. The universal teacher, Sri Krishna, <laughs> gives himself away to he who meditates on his lotus feet by personally appearing to him. In other words, he is subdued by anyone who meditates on him. One should always remember Vishnu and never forget him. 
All the other scriptural rules and prohibitions are servants to this one rule and this one prohibition. In other words, all scriptural injunctions are being followed simply by remembering Sri Vishnu and on the other hand all the scriptural prohibitions are vi violated by forgetting him. Okay. I explain that. I explain. Violating. You violate if you are not keeping your mind in creation create the person who create you <coughs> because Vishnu who maintain you who create you will inhale you. Kishore, Chai, I put down. No, no, no. <coughs> Keep in front to her. Keep it. And now stop this. But thinking Krishna, thinking Vishnu does not mean thinking about someone far away. It means thinking about who you are. Thinking about your soul. Keeping soul conscious center means remembering Krishna. Same thing. Thus, serving Sri Govinda, the Lord of the senses, through the senses, without worshipping other gods or goddess, is called Ananya Bhakti, or exclusive devotion. Persons who wish different fruits may be worshipping different gods with faith, but they are actually worshipping Sri Krishna, who is the aggregate of all the gods. So exclusive devotion means one-pointedness. Therefore we don't worship any other gods except him or our Radha Mohan. Exclusive. Vishnu Bhakti means God, any God. If he is not going in God consciousness to your mind, this is any ritual injunction, any teaching is wrong. Vishnu Bhakti and Krishna Bhakti is different. <coughs> Krishna Bhakti means in the form and Vishnu, Vishnu Bhakti without form. Any God. Even the God consciousness is there or not. If he is not teaching the the scripture about the God conscious is wrong teaching. So one is personal and one is impersonal. Yes, Krishna Bhakti is personal. <coughs> One point is Vishnu Bhaktas are many gods also. <coughs> However, since there is no rule here in attaining prema, they are not worshipping according to the rules. O son of Kunti, those who are devoted to other gods 
and worship them with faith, really also worship me, but not according to the rules. That is, their rule is not to become free from material life or to attain the Supreme Lord. After this, the blessed author says, all other activities are simply signs of pride, seeing which I feel great pain. All other activities developed by mankind within this world are a waste as far as the soul is concerned. None of these activities belong to these constitutional duties. All our activities for the Im imaginary material body and are nothing else but deceptions for the spirit soul. They simply cause pride of one's bodily status. Seeing such false pride of the conditioned souls simply gives great pain to the heart. Understand? Explain it to my So, uh, many people was thinking, I'm this body. And then, by false ego, people proud, material education, material opulence, material prestige, material, so many facilities. And then people forget spirit soul and uh, souls Ishita Goshti. Ah, yeah, yeah Ishita Deva, sorry. Ishita Deva. <coughs> but this is a kind of cheating. Our Dharma, soul Dharma is the serving, loving devotion service to the Super soul, our Ishta Deva, Ishta Devi. Actually, this is host pride. Ishta Devi and Deva they will not understand. Hmm? Okay. You have to say who okay. don't understand. Okay. So Ishta Deva means our worshipable deity, our worshipable person, supreme person. In our case, Radha, Rani, and uh, Mohan, Krishna. Because they are supreme person, they are the original person, they are, they are love personified. And actually, we are forgetting their relationship. And uh, if we establish relationship, we can taste so much love, so much rasa, taste. But uh, if we forget their relationship, 
Then we start thinking, I'm this body, I'm come from such and such country, I'm man, I'm lady, I have rich man or poor man, I have such and such have a nice you know, house, or etc. But this is all temporary. And this gives us so much pain. Because suffering comes this body and our mind. Because our false conception. If we this we think this body, then this body becomes disease. This body becomes old. Lady become beautiful when young, but getting old, you know, older, then feel so much pain. Oh, I'm now getting kind of, you know, kind of ugly compared to young, younger age. Or well, my body doesn't work when I was 20. So then so many pain coming. Also, if someone has pride, then someone may criticize me or correcting me, then feel pain. No, actually, I'm so great person. Why you are correcting me? Why you are criticizing me? So many, many pain come from this body, this mind. Also, from other person, give so much pain sometimes. By words, by, you know, by kind of body action, or many things. Or even other living entity. Monkey steals my grass, monkey steals my food. Many things happening even here also. And also sometimes too much rain, too much cold. Sometimes, I don't know here, earthquake, tsunami. <laughs> many things happening. If we think I am this body, then many suffering will come. But if we think I am spirit soul, my dear, my dear, or dearest person is Radhika, or Radhika's Mohan, then we have no problem. Because spirit soul is eternal, and full of feeling, full of knowledge, full of happiness, blissfulness. So if we think soul and we remember this relationship, then we are happy. This is actually eternal dharma. This is Jaiva dharma. So we are serving the supreme person, most loving person, most beloved. Person. This is called Ishta Deva. So our aim of life to establish relationship, to know our relationship, and do some loving seva, and then automatically so much love is coming. This love is called Prema, and highest love called Mahababa. That personality is Shrimati Radharani. If we connect by chanting, or no, by hearing, or listening, and chanting, remembering, therefore this mentioned Smarana of Vishnu, actually this is Krishna or Radha Mohan, actually. It just, that is only rule is remembering Radha Mohan, don't forget Radha Mohan. That is only basic rule in our spiritual life. That is Gurudeva's also one-pointed to our Ishtadeva. Know we are soul and try to know relationship and do some seva. And if we see Ishta Deva, then our, our, our friend, all living entity, 
is our dear friend, our brothers and sisters. Then harmony is coming and happiness is coming. This is coming from our Guru Parampara, this teaching. From our Guru Dev, from our Parama Guru Dev. So today is, uh, we are going to celebrate our Parama Guru Dev, divine appearance. I have a question, Mara, because you talked about Prem. And uh, okay, we know that Prema you can reach also in Baidi. Baidi Bhakti you arrive in Prema, and also Raganuga Bhakti you arrive in Prema. But I don't understand the difference between uh, is the same Prema is different, uh, or is not possible with Baidi Bhakti to okay. arrive in Prema. Okay. So very, very nice question. Shall I answer what you want? Yeah, yeah. So, according to, I think, Bhaktira Samrita Sindhu, there is two kind of process, of, actually three kind of process. No, actually two kind of process of Sadhana Bhakti. This is called Bhaiti Bhakti and Raga Nuga Bhakti. Sometimes Guru Dev say Raga Bhakti. So, this two way, there, this two way has also nine stages. Shuraddha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajana Kuniya, Ananata Nibriti, Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, Baba or Rati, and Prema. Both is Baba also, Prema also there. Then question may allow us. What is the difference? If we say in short word, by the Bhakti Prema is feeling with awe and reverence. By the Bhakta attracted Krishna by his opulence, by his power, means, what is it? God conscious, you know, we feel God consciousness. Oh, he's my Lord. I'm so small. I have to worship. Otherwise, I have problem. Little distant relationship. And the Naganuga Bhakti is like in Braja, Braja mood. We don't think Krishna is Supreme Lord. Krishna is my friend, Krishna is my son, Krishna is my lover. So that relation is very intimate. Actually, in Braja, it's all and reverence is actually there, but covering the so much madura, loving feeling, intimate feeling. So that is a difference. So therefore, if we think Krishna is Supreme Lord, then we are still by the Bhakti. So therefore, we have to fix relationship. What kind of relationship we, we wish we want to have it? What, what kind of relationship we have it? And then, if established, then is a prema we may get. So, so do you say, sorry, do you say, for example, if for me uh, Krishna or is still God, it's better to go in that way till the end, instead to think that maybe I am 
I am Raja Bazi, but in reality I am worshipping Krishna as God. No? Better to think myself, maybe I don't know, in Ayodhya and Guru Kshetra and then to focus there. Or we should uh, think uh, that we have to switch and to forget that he is God. So, so actually it is according to our taste. So therefore Shramana is very important. If we hear Rashka Vaishnava, then we automatically attracted the sweetness in Vrindava. Then we have some desire. Oh, I wish to have a, I wish to have like Mother Yashoda. Or like I want to be like Saki, like Rarita. Or I want to be like uh, Lati Manjari, Torasi Manjari. So, and according to our relationship, according to our association, according to our feeling. But uh, I think, you know, someone who contact with Sadhu Maharaj, that person is, I think, getting Braja Baba. But also, according to the devotee's desire, you know, like some ashram, even in Vrindavan, they are practicing by the bhakti. It's okay. Some devotees practicing Raganuga bhakti, like they are thinking Krishna is my son. It's okay. Some devotees practicing, you know, practicing, oh, I want to be like Rarita Saki or another Saki. That's also okay. But especially in this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's highest gift is Baba Urasarati. Means highest feeling, highest loving feeling, which Radhika has. So therefore, that someone who has Baba Urasarati want to serve Radhika more than Krishna. <coughs> This is, generally speaking, we say Manjari Baba or Kinkari Baba. That is the greatest gift by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, most of the devotees really follow Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that want to get this Baba Urasarati. They are thinking. But still, someone want to have another Rati, another Baba, it's okay. No problem. This according to person to person. I remember Gurudev one time told about the, there was San Rupa Sanatana and another brother, Anupama, mm -hmm. and uh, like he tried to make happy Rupa and Sanatana and Chaitanya. He tried to enter in that uh, uh, Chaitanya Radha Krishna devotion, mm -hmm. but he was so, so fixed in uh, Ramachandra. Mm -hmm. that at the end he asked for sorrow and he also asked for sorrow to Mahaprabhu and he said sorry I have to leave you because my heart uh, I cannot go away from my Ram, Rasita Ram. Mm -hmm. so, and I remember that Guru that, that also somewhere probably I don't know in which book Chaitanya Charitamrita I don't know where that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very happy to see how he was fixing her uh, relations, no? Yes, like this. yes, correct, I think correct. Because, you know, any relation is okay. Like Murari Gupta also. Murari Gupta also, he is like, uh, I think, Rama Bhakta. Anupama also. So, this is okay. Because fixing relationship, that's fine. Among the, our, our Sangha also, we have different devotees, has different rasa. This Guru Dev is also okay, this is okay, go ahead. Just listening your relationship to pastime. If someone who is, you know, Bastara Rasa, please hear the pastime of Bastara Rasa. 
that will them recommend them. Because this is natural, you know, for them. Srila Prabhupada mentions also in the Bhagavad Gita, his introduction, page 4. Srila Prabhupada is also mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita in the introduction on page number 4 the, that a devotee may have one of the five different relationships with the Lord. So this is according to Krishna our Lord with the Lord. With Krishna. Krishna. Don't say Lord Krishna. <laughs> So no, he's mentioned Lord. He's mentioned Lord. He's mentioned Lord. Lord, 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 Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna, maybe the name. He's mentioned the Lord. With the Lord. <laughs> Lord. So actually, why is universal open relation with Ram, with uh, Father of the Jesus, anyone you can make, but relation has to be. It is not that you make relation only with Krishna, and but relation is not there, your closeness is not there. Relation makes you to close, and then you want to know yourself. Are you body? Are you senses? Are you our false ego? Or you are a soul? You want to be develop yourself. And if I don't develop myself as a spirit soul, I will be in conditioned circumstances. And when we develop relation, then the name comes. Name comes. <coughs> A, B, C, D, when I have a relation. <laughs> if not relation, then is a Vishnu Bhakti, God conscious. Mm. Then it's Bhakti Bhakti. <laughs> no, it can be in Raga Bhakti also, this, if no relation is there, no form is there. If I do practice of Raga Bhakti, and I have no relation, means I don't know the form. Relation means form. Relation means you and me, beloved and lover. Lover and beloved relation has to come in form of mother, in form of father, in form of friend, in form of servant. But relation is important to see the form. So without form we can not have a relation. Huh? Without form I cannot relate you and I will not desire to know myself, my soul. I am a soul of material body. When you are divine, I also exist with divinity, spirit, soul, what you say this. My spirit has to come to know. I have to know my spirit, my soul. What is mentioned in Bible also is about your spirit. That has to come to know that I am who I am, not this material identification. <coughs> you are, you was, you is, you will be. Similarly, it was, it is, and it will be. So, body will change. So, reality, existence of myself is the soul to see and develop relation with me. Because the soul is eternal. That's the point. You are the So relation will develop this feelings, attachment, to bring us to my reality. If I don't develop relation, then it's a Amazon. 
I, you are God. And when I have a problem, I will pray for you and you will give me. <laughs> and what I like to do, I will do myself. I will deal you like Amazon. I order and you supply me. <laughs> and then he become merchants. Yes, then he become merchant. Then he also do business. If your payment arrive, you act, then I will act for you. <laughs> So it's a give and take. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Srila Prabhupada mentions this. So your question, uh, I think there where you most attracted to with practicing of our devotional path, it will become out with the time to which path you are most attracted to, which relationship that you want to have, in which mood, uh, maybe take some time to find out this. Uh, so we can, you say that with our effort we can find, we can find ah. where we are most attracted to. As my feeling, a uh, for, for feeling. Feeling less is material. But feeling. Are good, but if you don't give, you give. Guru Dev give the form. You give us. That is higher thing. But the feeling is the, my my subject. No? I feel or not feel. I come from Italy and I feel something or not here. If I have a feeling and I can learn from here, it's easy to learn in Vrindavan feelings and relations. But outside of Vrindavan, go to Estonia of Poland, they will only talk about God and Amazon. <laughs> Go and give and take. You give your sin and take the <coughs> benefit from it. But you have to pay some money for that. <laughs> this is an Amazon. <laughs> but here in Vrindavan, the person who has a desire to come in the feeling and relation, they want to develop. This is the point. Then name is required. If I have no need feeling, so what is the name required? God is okay. <laughs> Same subject, name you put. Why you put name? If you have a, your lover, your partner, why you say, my darling, my dear? So why you put the name? Because to feel, give the feeling of closeness. You, why not you say to your son, my son? Why you say Nityananda? You can say son, he is your son. But why you give name Nityananda? Because it's personal. You can personally feel it, but you can feel as a father, but outside and your friend will not feel that. Same thing. So the relation, if I have relation and I give them darling, my sweetheart, then I feel sweetheart. So Krishna means sweetheart. My darling, this is the meaning. Your sweetheart and darling can be other also, but it should be what is the God. In that you select some name and give, what is the problem? But it should come to the sweetheart and darling. Beloved, if you want to be beloved, it's possible. 
you is a lover, if you want to be a mother, he is ready for that to become your son. And if you want to be a friend, he is ready to be a friend. Right? And if you want to keep impersonal relation, he is also ready to accept that. And it, this is your decision what is the best to give him. Impersonal is also one relation. I don't want to be a personal to you. Passive. Passive, how you will so that? Passive. Go to the shop, many shops are there, many gods are there. But where the price is good, you buy there. <laughs> right, Kishore? Yes. You check ten shops, ten gods, and where is the easiest god, you buy that. That shopping, you do shopping there. Reasonable. Eh? Reasonable. Reasonable. Good for me. So, it means which relationship we want to have, it depends on our real desire. Right. If you have a greedy, if you are not greedy, if you go to Poland and Estonia, Nobody will talk about relation to you. They will say, okay, God is there. What means relation to you? Passive is good for you. <coughs> but Vrindavan is a special gift that they will inspire you. Are they? Why not develop relation that you realize yourself who are you? How you will develop relation without knowing yourself? If I want to re re develop relation with you, I have to know myself also. Why? Okay, I have senses, then I will relate with your body. Why I will go further, further? Body to body, senses to senses. I need this. When I will see your love and purity, I will die to develop love and purity, and then I will find love is coming from where? From my senses or from my reality? Heart. This heart is where? Well, what is that? What is the importance of the heart? Why not mind is to give in love? Why not my other senses are giving love? What is the source of coming love? Where the feelings come to me? I don't see any feeling. One person, dead body, has any feeling and love in their senses. Where is it coming from? Dead body, beautiful person, you touch any senses, is no feeling. And no love will come for that. No inspiration. Why? Some other places is coming. That too. That I will want to know. Right? That is the reality. My suffering is because I not go to reach the reality. Right? Because we identify with the material body and the circumstances. Right. That is my false ego. 
I had so much practice that I maintained this ego. So, <coughs> oh, you want to say? <coughs> yeah, from way back. <laughs> you can conclude. You, um, you asked the question of the <laughs> lifetime. Of the it's a very good question, sweetheart. But then, and we can answer it within terms of relation. So, Vaidhi Bhakti, ritual Bhakti, Bhakti of ritual, can propose one kind of love through one kind of relation, a relation to Krishna which is one of admiration and veneration. Krishna is beautiful and powerful. But he's silent. It's not a <coughs> reciprocal relation. It's not a two-way relation. And Raghunuga Bhakti, the miracle of Mahaprabhu, is to show us that God is a lover too. And that God isn't just the object of our love, that God is a relation. God is a loving, God is love itself. The practice of loving is divinity. So in order to experience this, relation to God, the two-way relation to God, we have to open and, and have this uh, two-way feeling of emotion with God. This is what Mahaprabhu shows us and tells us. By showing that God wants to love and be loved at the same time. This is the model for our practice, loving and being loved at the same time. So I think but uh, also in the Aishvarya Bhav there is also a relation with God but it's a different kind of relation it's more like a business relation I give you and you give me and in the Madhurya Ras Madhurya Bhav is a different kind of relation it's a loving relation with a loving exchange but relation is always there. There are different kinds of relations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but relation is there. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Catch your mic in your... Page 167. I'll give to... Um, <laughs> The, 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 serving, the serving Sri Govinda, the second chapter from above. Oh, 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 maybe a little oh, bit, sorry, a little bit. <coughs> maybe... Uh, oh, son of Kunti? Yeah, yeah, maybe, oh, son of Kunti. The Sintifa, oh, son of Kunti. Quick. quick, yes. Thus serving Sri Govinda? The Sintifa. Yeah, Osama Kunti. This pass. Next page. Osama Kunti. Those who are devoted to other gods and worship them with faith really also worship me, <laughs> but not according to the rules. That is, their rule is not to become free from material life or to attain the Supreme Lord. Bhagavad Gita 9.23 After this, the blessed author says, Arayoto Upalamba Vishesha Sakali Damba Dikita Lagaya Bue Bhyata All other activities are simply signs of pride seeing which I feel great pain. All other activities developed by mankind within this world are a waste. As far as the soul is concerned, 
Mankind creates the activities. This is very clear. Mankind is not any ritual. Describe in his spiritual scriptures. Mankind activities. I think and I generate this. This is a mankind activity. So all other activities developed by mankind within this world are a waste as far as the soul is concerned. None of these activities belong to his constitutional duties. All are activities for the imaginary material body. Sorry, uh, our constitutional duty means to realize that we are a soul. And if we don't do that, every other things, all the other things are just a waste of time. Right. And also soul means, realize means soul and super soul. Soul and our beloved Lord. And constitution, constitutional position is to serve kind of reciprocation, this kind of relationship. If we know relationship, automatically service is coming. If we love some, somebody or our ishtadev, automatically service also coming out. So usually, generally speaking, this service also relationship and this service also a uh, constitutional kind of uh, duty. Duty or desire? Duty or desire? This is mentioned duty. 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 Constitutional duty. I think this is because the Lord wants us to do that. Because it's our birthright, it's our constitutional position. Is to duty is the soul. And we have to desire for that. Mm. For this duty. If we have other desire, then I'm not in my duty. So none of these activities belong to his constitutional duties. All are activities for the imaginary material body and are nothing else but deceptions for the spirit soul. That's why it says here, imaginary Gurudev. Why it says imaginary material soul. Well, first we have to imagine. I don't know. <laughs> I imagine that there is some soul. Then it, I can feel it. I can identify. I don't identify, but I have to imagine it. To start with imagination, when you are rich there, then you, you got it. You sit down in his room, chair is empty. Yeah. <laughs> it's first in the minds. Yeah, the imaginary First it comes in the mind and then it becomes spiritualized, becomes spiritual. <laughs> Imaginary material body. That is the Possible repeat? Yes. Okay. So none of these none of these activities belong to his constitutional duties. 
all our activities for the imaginary material body and are nothing else but deceptions for the spirit soul. Imaginary material body, it may mean illusionary material body. Imaginary material body. Imaginary material body. It is the illusion because we think this is myself. This is the imaginary. The reality is that my soul. It's, it's in context of the soul, yeah, yeah, because it's not the real body. Yeah. Now you imagine in the soul yeah. the sentiments and the relations. I explain all the object. Love no, I think I explain. So. I did I had a different understanding. So they simply cause pride of one's bodily status. Seeing such false pride of the conditioned souls simply gives great pain to the heart. This is the end of verse 19. <laughs> Read this paragraph, we know understand. All other activities are simply signs of pride, seeing which I feel great pain. All other activities developed by mankind within this world are a waste as far as the soul is concerned. None of these activities belong to his constitutional duties. All our activities for the imaginary material body and are nothing else but deceptions for a spirit soul. They simply cause pride of one's bodily status. Seeing such false pride of the conditioned souls simply gives great pain to the heart. If you understand, repeat. Will come out. Mm. You understand, others understand. Others understand. It's very clear. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Or not? No, I don't understand. <laughs> There's no easy to understand. That's the mystical part. Don't say that, no. Yeah. <laughs> I can try to explain. Huh? I can try to explain. Yeah. So I, I feel it says that because there is read that line and line by line. And yes. All other activities developed by mankind within this world are waste as far as the soul is concerned. So means. We are actually not body or soul, so whatever we're doing in the material world, it's, it's temporary, it's not everything like all fame, money, all these things, it's not lasting, it's not, it's not our real self, so it's not adding to real value for who we really are. So this is why it says they are a waste in, in regards to the soul because it's not really, um, it's not going to last. At some point we're going to die and at some point even the, the universe, how we know, is going to die now. And also it's not helping to realize our relationship and our duty, real duty, yeah. this more destruction. So this is what it says, that none of these activities belong to his constitutional duties. All are activities for the imaginary material body and nothing else but deceptions for the spirit soul. So all of the material things are, in this sense, distractions that keep us away from realizing ourselves. You know, in, in the West it's so, so hard actually. We're not, many people cannot even sit with their thoughts. 
So they have to distract themselves with watching Netflix and many things. So all this actually keeping us away from really seeing our constitutional position. So then he also says that none of these activities belong to his constitutional duties. All are activities for the imaginary material body and nothing else but deception for the spirit soul. So this, the suffering comes because we we are thinking that we are the material body, even though we are the spiritual soul. And that is, they simply cause pride of one's bodily status. So with this, then suffering comes because we we think the material body, we think we are have this high position. We're not humble, we don't, um, we seek for position, we seek for power. We not uh, realize that everyone is soul and everyone is um, the, the same in this way, like the same in the same position. Like everyone has, everyone is love, love and eternal. And then seeing such false pride of the conditioned soul, simply gives great pain to the heart. So for the realized people um, that see this, it, it causes, causes pain because they see that people are running for the, for the wrong things and they're suffering so much, even though the soul itself cannot actually suffer, no, it cannot be destroyed, it cannot be um, hurt. But um, because we identify with this material body and are running behind the status, this is from where the suffering is coming from. It's okay? You want to ask if she understood? Yes, she's taking notes. It's clear, yeah? Yes. Someone wants to add If you don't understand, we we'll stop here. <laughs> in Samadhi Kirtan and uh, offering to the gardener Arti because today is the Gurudev appearance day. So if you like to do this, you are welcome to sit in Kirtan and do this, distribute Prem Prashad. And from today, devotee desire to give one packet sesame sweet of the uh, uh, prasad of, of samadhi to everyone. And who like to donate something, there is a donation box. You can donate there, and this will be development for the Guru Seva. And all the devotee of Gurudev, of Sri Sri Radha Govindas Bhavaji Maharaj followers, 
they all are the members of that service. They will plan, they will organize, and you can plan what services we can do for the help of others, because he was never collect any money for anything, so there is no collection fixed price to give or that. Who like to give donation? Who like to improve the love program all over the world? They can do. And this sesame packet, a sweet packet, will be created. Who like to go to the, his place? He can bring and he can do this way. No asking money for this. If they donate, okay. No donate, okay. This is okay. Love, love is there. Yes. Love is there always. <coughs> you can take it, you can send to your Japan, Italy, any place and distribute. And this fund will create to more to improve this place. Wow. <coughs> it's a marketing oh. man. And everyone has to plan what to do and do. In your presence, when you come, you have an entry. You cannot enter in Radhamon temple. You can half enter in Shiva temple. You can do watering and this, that. But here, all devotees can enter and serve. To Guru, Guru Samadhi place. And they can care what they want, they can improve it. That they can do kirtan, like she said that she will do kirtan. And she will see. She, she wants to. So everyone, what they like, they can do. Their love exchange. And then you see how the mercy flow to you. You will surprise in your life. <coughs> Swami Yogananda. Jesus and Babaji. What is this Babaji? Babaji means who realized, who see the Purus, they are Babaji. So this Radha Govindas Babaji is also Siddha, realized this Babaji. So if Babaji come to your heart and said, all set. Your vision will be more open to feel it. How to relate Jesus and Krishna. You will be crystal clear, you will understand. Because I love Jesus, how, how I live Jesus, how see his father and how understand Krishna. This is Babaji. And this happened to Swami Yogananda. What is that? Swami Yogananda. What was that? He realized his constitutional position, who is, and that way he start moving. One Indian attracts whole world because mercy of Babaji. That Babaji is there.
Can you hear the sweetness? How Radha Das Govind Baba just chant. Listen. Listen to the, 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 the sweetness. The deeply. How you, how you, Can you make higher? Yes. Make the voice higher. It's not teased to others. It's not good. You have to move and do it. Yes. <laughs> because it's the vibration, the frequencies of his loving meditation in the loving of the mantra. He was there, he was there. He was dreaming, I, I think. That's the power of the pure loving. If you meditate, you can to a saint, to a Babaji like Rana Govinda Mahārāja Babaji, you will cry. I, I beat, uh, you cry. The purity, the power of his loving, the relation with everything is there and is chanting. I had my recording bring with me everywhere I go in my business. And Shri Prabhupada. And you will see. But by his loving we are all here. He was so much in love that we are all here. He asked to his uh, so much love, like Jesus. He has so much love that he want to bring everybody in his family. That's Baba Jivatma, our Guru Dev Sai. Our constitu constitutional position is to and serving each other. That's the big, the family of Babajis. And they can really make miracles. And I saw, I see the miracle through his years with Guru. All the love that he had through his uh, guru, through his Babaji. Babaji. Guru Dev was Sanyas. Babaji is no love. Sanyas, no love. Dand always mind, eh? But no love. Yes, love is there. But Babaji is more powerful. Love. 